Let's have a look at some of the different ways we can view our documents in Microsoft Word. Let's start off with the basics. So at the top in our view tab, let's start on the left hand side. We have a read mode. Now the read mode goes like this. It looks kind of like a book and you just sort of swipe, 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 you know, left to right. Well, you don't actually swipe it. It just looks cool when you do it in the air. Now, um, read mode makes it like a book. So page by page, no toolbars, no ribbons, no, and there's nothing there. Okay, so that's what read mode does. Then we have the print layout, which is what we have normally. That's what we are working in most of the time. That's what we're editing in. There's a web layout. If you are using this for a web page, don't ever touch that. Outline. The outline is basically like uh, an outline of the documents. If you were quickly working with sections and um, different p parts of, you know, different headings, etc., this is a very quick outline of your document. A nice quick way to look at the content. Uh, you you work with that in different ways. So I'm not I'm not going to worry about showing that to you now. Back to view. The draft view, also a very nice way of working just with text and just racing through your information that way. So no pictures and all kinds of formatting in the way. Let's go back to print layout. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple of um, new ones over here. And this is kind of one of my favorites. When you find that you're like really in the zone and you're typing out an essay for business or geography or history or something and you like really got this zone going you can have a focus mode and I'm gonna show you what it looks like voila you can only focus on your content there are no toolbars or anything in the way it's a really really nice way of just typing all right to get out of that press escape the immersive reader, it depends on what version of Office you have, and that just reads the text back to you. Really, really nice. Okay. Your page movement, we are used to scrolling up and down, okay, with the vertical. You can have side to side page scrolling. I've never done that. It's pretty weird. I'll just stick with vertical. In my show group, always have your ruler on please the ruler is really really helpful it does give you a lot of information and there are some tools that we will use later on that you will need your ruler for in the zoom section obviously you can zoom in and zoom out a hundred percent zoom up to the page width back to a hundred percent zoom to one page look at multiple pages do you get the idea okay so that's all your zoom tools over here and at the bottom right hand side the same thing here's your focus here's your read mode there's your print layout there's your web layout and there's your zoom so what you've got up here you also have down here two things that I quite like with Microsoft Word and this is the new window and the split I'm going to show you what new window does. So when you click new window, initially you go, well, whoa, nothing happened, like something glitched and then there was nothing. It actually has made a duplicate window. Just put these two together. There you go. So now you have two windows of the same document. So I can sort of scroll down here and be working on this part of the document and referencing or reading this part of the document do you see so I'm working in two different areas at the same time and that is also what the split does so watch this I'm gonna go to split it splits your document and you can now work in two different parts of the document independently at the same time that is pretty cool and that's what the split does and then you can remove the split and these are all your different view options that you have go ahead and play with them practice with them see which ones work for you and uh, have some fun with that